Hi guys, welcome back to The Bookworm's Buddy. And this is my top five Wednesday. I'm a little excited because this is the first time I've done one. Um, so thanks to Lainey for making it open to everyone. So this is top five Wednesday friendships. Um, I will have a link to the group for everybody so you can go see everybody's top five ones. I'll have that in the description below. So let's get started. For number five, for me, I'm going to say Kovac and Lishka. Um, this is the Kovac and Lishka series. This is book two, Just the Dust. And I chose this book because this is the one they're, they're more prominent in. Kovac and Lishka are detectives and they are partners. And um, I really like their relationship because they're true partners. They look out for each other. No matter what, they cheer up the other one when they're down or they'll stick up for each other, that kind of stuff. They've got a really good, strong relationship. And I love um, mystery, detective books, and I like strong detectives. And these two are fantastic. Coming in at number four for me is Joe and Grace. Now, if you've watched, been watching my videos, you know I love Joe love Joe and I'm actually really jealous of Grace being a part of his life but um I'm just kidding Grace is a great character too and Grace is his boss and he first meets her in Patient Zero in the first book and um they have to learn to trust each other and their friendship just grows and they rely on each other for everything and um, Joe goes to her for little bits and pieces of, of what's going on. And she goes to him for that. And their friendship grows to a really, really strong bond. And then it grows to a little bit more. Um, a love affair. And of course it's a love affair because Grace is his boss. And those kind of things are pretty much prohibited against the rules. And you see this friendship just flourish into this love affair and the amount of respect they have for each other and the amount of feelings they have for each other. And they have to hold those in because they, they can't let it um, get away from them because, like I said, it's not allowed. And you just feel, feel it in your heart. You feel that hurt that they can't totally, like, just let themselves go and just be together. So... Um, whether it's their friendship or their or their love affair, their relationship is is awesome, and the amount of trust and respect is just amazing between the two of them. Coming in number three, I have to say is Lisa and Rudy. Um, these two, this book for one is one of my favorites of 2014 so far, and these two have got to be a couple of my favorite characters um, so far too for this year. Um, their relationship is just beautiful. That's all I can say about it. They're there for each other through everything, all the stuff, the trying times, everything they're having to see. They're just there for each other and they understand each other. And I, I love that. Their, their relationship is just awesome. And they can look at each other and just practically read each other's minds and... I love their relationship through and through. Coming in at number two is Benny and Nix. Uh, Jonathan Mayberry, y'all should know by now that I love Jonathan Mayberry. And this series is awesome. Benny and Nix, again, start out just as friends um, in this book. And they grow really, really, really close. Now, when you come to... Uh, the last book of the series, you really see the romantic side of it. It takes them a while to get to that point. I should say it takes Nix a while to get to that point. Um, she's a little more unsure of it than Benny is, but again, they've got this relationship where they can finish each other's sentences and they're there for each other and they're always concerned for each other and they're each other's safety. So um, this relationship is another really awesome one. And now for my number one, you could all probably guess if you watch my videos, The Losers Club from Stephen King's It. In this club, we have Bill, Bev, Ben, Stan, Richie, 
Eddie, and Mike. I think it's a total of seven. These kids go through so much. Um, as you can guess, this is a horror book. And they are there to help each other through thick and thin. Because sometimes their parents aren't always there. Or their parents are a little uppity. Or they try to um, smother their kids and not let them have any other kind of relationship. So the relationship between these kids is really, really strong. And they fight for each other through everything. Um, so we get to see them as kids. And then also you get to see them grow up as well. And how those bonds have stayed there the whole time. And the, the, um, the reunion between them was gorgeous. I just loved it. And I love to see it too because um, that's like my favorite part in the, in the movie is when they're all getting back together again. So this will, th this is going to be probably my, always my favorite group of kids. I don't, it's going to take a lot for any, any other group to top them. So I absolutely love, love these guys and they're, they're my number one. So that was my top five Wednesday. If you liked it, click the like button. Thanks guys for staying tuned and we'll see you again soon. Bye.